Welcome back to another edition of History in Your Own Backyard. I'm Danielle, and today we're spending time in Napoleon, Indiana, where we'll be learning all about the Napoleon Central House. Come on, let me teach you all about it. This two-story, federal-style brick building has a long and colorful history, which began in 1836 when the house was built by George Craig and served as the family home until 1850 when Dr. Samuel Hicks purchased the building for his physician's practice. From then on, through the 1900s, the Napoleon Central House enjoyed claim to a tavern, a post office, a pool room, and even a meat processing plant, as well as a gas station. At one time, Ye Old Central House, as it was called back in the early days, was a drover's inn, a place for travelers to stop along the road for food, water, and other supplies. Yes, even stagecoaches on their route from Cincinnati to Indianapolis made stops here. A wealthy traveler could afford to sleep indoors. If money was an issue, camping outside was the option. If the inn was full, it was not unusual for travelers to share a room or even bunk down on the floor. The original rock post for the horse hitching post still stand in front of the central house today. In May of 1900, the property was sold lock, stock, and barrel, so to speak, for $1,800, with all buildings therein, with all the bar fixtures, pictures, bottles, pool tables, and other tables in the bar room. The property changed hands again in 1925 for just $1 and other considerations, which are not well documented in historical records. By 1951, the Central House was rented out as apartments until the 1960s. In 1969, the Napoleon Community Recreational and Restoration Company was formed by volunteers in an effort to preserve the history of the building and to promote education, history, the arts, and the performing arts for the community as a whole. The Central House players performed for the public to generate funds for repairs. Even though the structure needed considerable restoration, it still served as a community building in Napoleon and the vicinity. It was also used for a variety of meetings, including Girl Scouts, Boy Scouts, 4-H, and other community events. The Central House also featured a library for Napoleon, something the town had never enjoyed. The building was in severe disrepair by this time. Walls, ceilings, fireplaces, and the roof all needed immediate attention. Donations were generated over approximately 10 years to renovate the failing structure, and the Central House was proudly listed on the National Register of Historic Places on September 23, 1982. There is even some evidence that the Central House may be haunted. Ghost hunters have filmed overnight haunts, including chandeliers that move, doors opening spontaneously, and spooky sounds that cannot be identified. Over the years, the Central House became available for historic tours for school children, where they learn of the time when the facility served as an underground railroad haven during the Civil War. This historic site has been host to plays, tea parties, Civil War reenactments, Oktoberfest, and Ye Old Central House restaurant that enjoyed a thriving business from 1992 to 2002. As indicated in its mission statement, the Napoleon Community Recreational and Restoration Corporation affirm the Central House will continue to be a working benefactor for the local community seeking a positive influence towards history, education, and the arts. As you've seen, Napoleon, a small town in southeastern Indiana, is home to some very impressive large-scale history. for tuning in to today's edition of History in Your Own Backyard. Today we spent time in Napoleon, Indiana, where we learned all about the Napoleon Central House. I certainly hope that you enjoyed learning all about it. Remember, travel slowly and stop often. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.